Hey everybody, welcome to Ask a Realtor, episode 4. Welcome back, we hope you enjoyed last week's episode. We were talking about how you can become a real estate agent, what school to go to, and how long it might take you. At the end of that video, I mentioned the question coming from Shani that wants to know if she can be licensed in three states at one time. So she's talking about Arizona, Utah, and Idaho all at the same time. Now, you can become licensed in all three states. However, each state doesn't offer what's called reciprocity between each state. So if you get licensed in Utah, you won't be able to take the license here and go to Arizona. And likewise, you wouldn't be able to take it up to Idaho. However, if you do get the school or, or training done here in Utah, you can take a waiver and a request from the commission in another state and they may waive some of the requirements for the school. Now probably none of the states are going to waive the requirement for the state law so you got to keep that in mind. Like in my personal experience I came from North Carolina so I got licensed in North Carolina first and then came here and when I came here the commission said that I needed to take all the state law requirements and a few more hours of real estate practice. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. Alright, so that answers that question. Now, two pieces of paper that I have in front of me. One is, and you guys won't be able to see this, but this is the Utah Real Estate License Plan. I just drew this up. So if you are curious about becoming an agent here in Utah, um, I've written out how to become an agent or the general process, since some of it's kind of skewed a little bit and hard to find. And... Also, I've written down some of the fees that come along with being an agent. So, um, if you're curious, I'll put this up online. You can check it out. So, our viewer question for next week is coming from Brooke. And if you remember, we, we answered some of Brooke's questions on episode two. So, she had a lot of good questions and we're going to use one for next week. Brooke's question is, what brokerage should I go to? Now... For next week, we're going to talk about lots of things that come with different brokerages. So be ready for that. I'll bring a lot of info about small firms, big firms, what they bring, what they offer you, what kind of tools and training that you can find from them. So as always, thanks for watching Ask a Realtor Anything. Hopefully we've answered some of your questions and come back and check us out next week. And as always, hit like so that we can get more viewers to ask more questions. And thanks. No, scratch up.